to St. Thomas Missionary Baptist Church. Praise him, for he's truly worthy to be praised. The word says that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them, he gave them power to become the sons of God. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our choir is coming.
get your praise and continual prayer. Take the joy of the Lord with you everywhere. Perpetual prayer and continual praise. Acknowledge Him in all of your ways. Take the joy of the Lord with you. Perpetual prayer. Acknowledge Him in perpetual praise. Take the joy of the Lord with you. Perpetual prayer. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. The Bible says that every saint ought to pray and never faint. And in these last days, we must always give God the praise. Perpetual prayer. Take the joy of the Lord with you. Perpetual prayer. Acknowledge Him. Perpetual prayer. Acknowledge you. Paul told us that every saint ought to pray and never faint. And in these last and evil days, we must always give God the praise. story about this uh, uh, father and son. Uh, the son wanted a car pair. So his father told him, say, now, nah, if you uh, read, read your Bible and you uh, do well in school and get a haircut, I'll get you a car. So time passed by came back to his father, and he told him, you know, he had uh, done well in school, and uh, he had been reading his Bible, too. So then he told his father, he said that, you know, in the Bible, Jesus had long hair, and Moses had long hair. Why should I get a haircut? And the father said, yeah, they did have long hair but they were all walking. <laughs> you want that car, you gotta get the haircut. <laughs> so, you know, God is good and laughter is good for the heart because the Bible says what? A merry heart is just like Madison. And I told you a long time ago, you come to church and laugh and listen to the word of God and be around people, you'll live a long time. Ain't that right, Sure, That's right. 
That's right. It's good to come to church. It's been proven that if you come to church, you're going to live a long time. Amen. God is good. And this, this Sunday, we know we're glad to have the children here and everything. And um, uh, we're just so happy to be here and see, see all of you here today. And I want to let you know that I love you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Laughter is good. Laughter is good. I'm going to get out your way. Any special prayers to anybody today as we go on? Any special prayers? Um, God is good. We're going to go to the Father in prayer. And anyone desire? Oh, we have a special prayer. We're going to pray for you. If you want to state, let us know what it is or come on up or just, just pray. Either way, just pray. Okay. All uh, right. We're going to. Brother Law. Huh? My brother in law, who's his name? Timothy. Timothy. Timothy Jenkins. Timothy Jenkins. We want to uh, lift him up. He's a little under the weather. And uh, as we sing today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. to the Father. Father, we come in your presence in the name of Jesus. And we want to just thank you. Thank you, Father, for so many things that you are doing for us each and every day. Father, we know that if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. Thank you, Father, for this day. And we magnify you in every way, Father. For you're truly worthy to be praised. We come praying for Brother Timothy this morning, Jenkins. We pray, Father, that you would just touch him, Father, and just heal him from whatever he's going through, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. We know, Father, that you can do all things, Father. Pray for him and we pray for his family, his mother, and all of them, Father, we ask that you just bless that whole family, Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you the thanks, Father. We thank you for so many people that are here today, Father, and they're asking for many different requests, Father. For you say where two or three touch and agree you are in the midst. And we know you're here, Father. We know you're in our presence, Father. We, we thank you, Father. We ask that you just hear each request that they're praying for themselves, Father. Praying for their loved ones, praying for their friends, Father. Thanking you, Father, for healing in their body, Father. We thank you, Father, and we magnify you today, Father. We just love you, Father. We pray that this morning that you just have your way in this sanctuary, just move in a mighty way today, Father. We thank you for our children that are here today singing, Father. We pray that they'll continue to bless you in everything that they do, Father. We pray that you continue to watch over them as they go from place to place, from school and different activities that they might be participating in, Father. We pray that you would keep them safe, Father. 
We just love you today, Father. We pray, Father, that you would just look upon the pastor as he's out doing your work, Father. We pray, Father, that when he returns, Father, that he will find all things safe here. We magnify you today. We love you, Father. We pray that you continue to bless each home in a special way, Father. We plead the blood of Jesus over it, Father. We pray the peace upon each home, Father, upon the communities which we live, Father. We pray that love, Father, just flow from heart to heart across these United States. We come against hate and envy and jealousy and all those things, Father. But they don't belong in the children of God, Father. We just magnify you today. We lift you up. We give you thanks for it. Bless this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father, for your strength. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your joy. All the things that you're doing in our lives, each and every day, we just give you the praise for it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we got French shell in the house? And one? Ooh, we know it's going to be a good day today. The whole family here. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Good to see you. We love you. You know, uh, I, your gifts, like we say, your gifts, we couldn't make it here without your gifts. And we thank you for your gifts that you give, uh, whether it's tithes or whatever it might be, Father. Sometimes you might not give tithes, but you just give your, yourself to help out, to stand at the door. To, whatever you're doing here at this church, we can't do it without you. We appreciate all of you. Whether you're far or near, we appreciate you. We're going to bless those tithes and offerings now. Lift your hand as we bless them. Father, we praise you for the gifts that were given, the seeds that were planted, the love that was given when they gave it, Father. We pray, Father, that you would just bless each one of them in a special way. Bless their homes, Father. Bless their finances, Father. We love you today, Father. We give you thanks for them, and we bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Oh. 
done a great job. Come on, come on now. Come on, praise the Lord for him. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. What an awesome God. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. That's him right there. <laughs> all right, he's all right. Now I can say, thank you, Lord, for being so good. Now I'm older. How about you? And never seen the righteous forsaken. We serve a good God. We serve a wonderful God. Didn't I quite do a great job? The solo, didn't they do a great job? Yeah. I remember back when I was in the choir, I don't think I had a solo one. I don't think I had a solo. How about you? You had one? Yeah. <laughs> it is good to see you all. It is great to be in the house of the Lord, to see you all this day that the Lord allow us to see each other. So let's continue united in love to show that whose side we on. We on whose side? We on, on God's side. So, young people, I'm going to need your help today. I'm going to need your help. Uh, everybody, one in, in, one in age of 1 through 20, stand up. Stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> now, how many of you listened to your mama, your TT, the first time? Y'all listen, y'all, did you, you don't complain, do you? You listen the first time, right? Huh? So we're going to be talking about that. Listen, this word right here said, in Philippians chapter 2 said, do everything without complaining or arguing. Do everything without what? Complaining and arguing. All right? All the dust stand up. Everybody stand up. That's, we're going to read this verse so we can understand. Oh, yeah. Er, now everybody stand up. See, young people didn't listen, did they? I said, everybody stand up, right? That means you stand up too. See, we're gonna go, we're gonna go through this very simple. We're gonna be quick. I know we gotta support the pastor, but I say, do everything without complaining or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault, and in in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars in the universe. Let's pray. Oh, heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, God. We thank you, God, for allowing Jesus Christ to come to show us and demonstrate to us, God, how much you loved us, God. And, Father, we love you back through your word, God. You said, God, that you would provide all I need according to what you call us to do, God. We thank you right now, God, for the people here, God, and help us, God, to stop complaining of what you call us to do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all, young people. Thank you all. Younger people standing up, everyone, because you know what? Sometimes we want to complain. I remind when I was saying, I remind of a story that my grandfather, my grandfather, he's old school. He lived to be 98. 98. So he would take it to the store. And if you start complaining, you didn't go to the store. He said, get out. You complaining. And guess what? We didn't go to the store. This past week, I was talking to a gentleman. His son go to Mississippi State and told his son to mow the lawn, uh, his, his yard. His son said, he gave him all the reason that he couldn't mow the yard. Complaining. And, and then we laugh at each other and say, you know what? When, when we was growing up, when they told us the first time, Sister William, you did it. Right? Look at our young, our, our generation. What are we teaching? What are we showing them? What are we guiding them through the word of God? How are we helping them to understand that they are to be light of the world? They are to draw other people to what? To Christ. And we are to what? Help them grow into Jesus Christ, what he called them to do. Paul was so fired up about unity, about being together, about loving each other, about drawing people to Jesus Christ. And he, kept, he, he used these words, we've come through Philippians 2, 14 through 18, talking about one thing, unity. Doing what God called us to do as Christians, we must do what the word of God have called us to do. 
He said, do everything without complaining or arguing. Do everything. How many of us find ourselves? I remember when I got married. All you young people married, I complain a lot. <laughs> I'm, at least I'm honest. What she ain't doing with her, all that stuff, and what and God just showed me something. I gotta change myself. I can't change nobody else. See, I can complain about somebody else, but really when I look in the mirror, it was all about me. Complaining, arguing, disagreeing, all this stuff right here. Ain't cleaning up, all this stuff right here. Then I realized I could clean up pretty good. I could wash dishes pretty good. As I learned to listen and watch this right here, verse 15, I want you to understand, so that you may become blameless. See, sometimes when we look at, when we accept Jesus Christ, we think everything is right on target. Everything what I need is right there. But he said, you may become. I'm growing, am I? We should be what? Growing in the word of God. He said that you may be. See, sometimes we think, I got everything right, right then. But you got to understand, God's working it through you. Those situations, those circumstances are coming through young people. When you go to school, and that teacher that you don't like, that teacher that sort of looked down on you. We all been there. Instead of complaining, do you do kindness? Remember we say, take the teacher an apple. I should pluck the apple right there. Boop, put the apple right there. Grandma, I need an apple. Why you need an apple? Got a mean teacher. I plucked that apple right there. See, your kindness to draw them. We see friends that that. We look at and know they, they are what? In the world. And as Christians, we're not in the world. We see these things, but yet we're drawn to, we, we're drawn to these things. See right there? And we get glued to seeing, fixated on the world, and we forget about God. Then we start complaining as the world complains. See, the world complains because they have what? They have no hope. We have hope, young people. We have a living Jesus Christ. He said, so do become blameless and pure, children of God without fault and crooked and depraved generation. Think about our generations. I, I want the young people to stand up so we can see our young people. And I like in Sunday school, they're honest. Yeah, I do complain. Yeah, that was okay, but... God can change you. He said, I'm becoming blameless. I'm becoming pure. I'm becoming a children of God. Just keep encouraging me. I'm reminded of when I got on the football field. The first day, Jordan, I threw up. They had me run me so much. I was so out of shape. I was so out of shape. I wanted to give up. But I knew if I wanted to play football, I got to stay with it. And some, the first day may be the hardest day for you. The second day, so I went back the second day, still running. Them wind sprint. We was running, 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 running. And I was kind of chubby at the time. So I had a lot of luggage. And I'm reminded of, I kept going. Because I want to become what? A football player. I want to become what God have called. I know I can do this thing. Let, give me the right tools. Sometimes, young people, we give up on the second day. We can't do that because you know what? You're going to be a great athlete, a great student, great choir, whatever God called you to do. Keep moving forward. Going to college, almost your end of the junior year, your senior year, going to the senior year, and like, ah, I'll come back later. You're becoming. Keep moving on. Let God use you. God said, I called you. I'm going to prepare you. I'm going to equip you. Don't stop. 
when you're at work and they're getting on your last nerve. That promotion is near. That salary increase is coming. You got to keep what? Moving on. The community needs you. Look around. Look at the community. The community need unity, right? If, I'm at, if I was out of salt and you had salt, we all had salt. If you had bacon, we all had bacon. We worked together. We checked on each other. Paul was saying, that's what we should be like. We're like bright stars. Sit right here and say that. We're like shine like stars in the universe. Have you ever looked at the night sometime and just look at the stars, how bright they are? How illuminated the world is? And that's how we should be when we go to school, go to work, or in our community. We are to light it up. As they say, let's light it up. Because that's who we are. We are the light of the world. We have the strength. We have the answer. But we got to stay in the race. Yeah, you look at the world, but you have, we have what? The answer. And he said this in verse 16, as you hold out. See, once I got the word of God in me, I'm, I'm holding it out. I'm, I'm, see that? Y'all saw it? Y'all got me? I'm ready to what? I'm ready to my what? I'm running my race. And as Christians, we got to hold it out, right? Because why? I'm passing off somebody, right? Huh? Right here. And I was saying, I was reminded of something in this lesson. I thank Lord for Sister Williams, Sister Cormac, used to bring their grandchildren to Sunday school and church. No complaining. You're going to church. You're going to Sunday school. I remember those days. Coming to class. Got the hair all done, looking all good. The young people, but they it was running their race because they know how important it is for the grandchildren. So I see sometimes some grandma, I ain't, that's their problem. That's their problem. It's, it's we got to work together because we we're, we're, we're holding it out, right? We're holding out. We, we see the faith, the faith wall. We're showing people. I got this. I'm running. I'm holding out so you can see the light that's in me that God has given to me to give to, uh, to others. Now, stay with me now because I don't think it's not as smooth as that. You, you just don't run like Carl Lewis. You don't just hand it off. Sometimes, you know, you got to make sure you hand that baton off, right? Stay with me. Paul's trying to show us something. He said, as you hold out the word of life, you hold it out. The word of what? Life. Life and death. In order that I may boast on the day of what? Christ. When I'm running, I'm boasting about who? Not about how fast I am, how I can hand it off. I'm boasting about who? Jesus. He's good. He's kind. He's a great God. He's a wonderful. He meet all my need. He is with me. I'm running. I'm holding it out, young people. I want people to see that. I am the light of the world. I want them to stay what? Connected and see that I am with Jesus. He said, that I do not run or labor what? For nothing. When we run this race and we finish our race, we have what? The crown of glory. We have a place eternity. We were, we were our heavenly father. That's what we got to look at. What Paul's trying to get us to understand is Complaining about what? Complaining, arguing about what? Run your race. Steadfast. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering, only sacrifice and service, coming from your faith. Even if I go through stuff, even if I fall down, Lord, you with me. Even if I just pour my heart out, I'm holding it up. No room for complaining. Those who say, you know what? I got mine. And I'm not going to be concerned about this. Where's your baton? Where's your word of faith? 
What's the word of life? So you can give to what? Your children. Your friends. Yeah, you're going to go through stuff. It's not going to be easy. But, lo, I am with you always. Young people, think about this one. So, too, shall be glad and rejoice with me. There's a story about this man. He was at the kingdom. And he's on the right side of his father. And his father said, I need you to be in this race for me. He said, I got to leave my throne for that? And he said, yes, take this baton. And when you come on this earth, you show them who the father is. And the father and son are one. And yes, you're going to go through stuff. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I, I was reading through Jesus never complained. Didn't argue. Think about that one. We always talk about it. So Jesus, now when, when he was in the Gethsemane, and he was praying that sweat was coming out, he said, Lord, if you want to move this cup, I'm with you. But if you don't want to move this cup, I'm what? I'm still with you. Because I'm running this race for you. Because I'm the world, the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word what? Was God. He came and said, you know what? I'm going to show the Pharisees. And Jesus. I'm going to show them. And he showed everyone who was the word. He draw people to, to his father. And yet, they found, said they found some fault in him. They said, crucify him. So he went to the cross. Lifting up the light so men can see that he was the light of the world. See that right there? And yet he was crucified on that cross for you and I. And then we got all power in his hand. He went, got the keys, he brought it back. He said, all power. And now he's showing us that how we should be as Christians, in unity, in love, marriage, children, in love. Stop the complaining. Your, your parents have the best interests. The world going to gobble you up. But Jesus said, I come that they may have life and have it more abundant. See, we got to look at, we got to look for places to pass the baton. All right, Justin. We got to look for ways for, for growing, right? Who wants the baton? Who wants the baton? See, see we, we got to look around. See, we, we, we like, we just sitting there. The baton, this right here is just an illustration of how we got to continue to pass the word of God to our children, to our cousins, to our family, to everyone, so that they can have Jesus Christ in their heart. And now, see that's how you look around? See, he got the baton. Now he got the word of God in there. So when you're on that soccer field, when you're on that football field, when you're in that classroom, he has the light of the world that's in him that, that he's going to share what Christ has given to him. Thank you, sir. You may be seated. Thank you. And that's it. The energy we take to complain why take that energy? Use that energy for good. To draw people to Jesus Christ. I love this old saying, finish strong. Don't worry about how it's going to finish, but finish strong. You look at Paul, what I love about Paul, he looked at his past and said, you know what? I do have a past. But God has forgiven me for my past. I was a head chief. Killing them. But now I am with one of them. How about you today? And we get ready to sing. Who are you? Are you still complaining? Are you carrying out the word of faith in you? Are you growing with Christ? Are you complaining? About everything? Hey, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. God said, I was with you all the way. Did you record? I always give your way out. He said, I love you with an everlasting love. Come to me. 
No more room for complainers. No more. And watch when you start complaining and say, Lord, I trust you. I don't mean I understand it, but I'm going to trust you today. Help me to get through this situation. And watch your com the complaining become praise. Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you for showing me this. Thank you, God, for bringing my marriage back. Thank you, Lord, for bringing my son and daughter back. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful. And that's what he wants us to do, young people. No more room for complaining. Listen to your mom what? The first time, not the second time. But what, Zara? The first time. Yeah, I'm looking at you over there. The first time. And you know what? Watch how things show and grow. Don't we want our children to grow? Huh? Don't we want our children to do greater things? Don't we want our children to do greater things? How many of you are investing the word of God in them? How many of you say, you know what? This is what the word of God. I know what the world say, but this is what the word of God say. And this is how we're going to grow together by what? Studying the word of God. Not what man say, but what? God say. Some of you, as we get ready, maybe you're like, you know what? I need that Jesus that you're talking about. I need to have that relationship that you just preached about. I need what Paul, what you got, it's, it's available. All we do is, is old song say, I surrender all. All to Jesus I give. I surrender all. See, how many of you say, I give you 50%, I give you 80%, I give you 90%, but he said, I want what? I want all of you. Totality. What, what, don't hold back nothing. Give everything to him. You declare he's a part of it. Let him mold you in the way that he wants you to go. And as we see how God is so good, you know, I was reflecting back a little boy who was complaining, Justin, about this, about that. I told you I was a little chubby boy, but now I start getting to the word of God. And one guy I was sharing with a guy this past week. And I said, you know, he said, how do you become so fast? I read this verse, if you believe and don't doubt, whatever you ask God, he'll do it for you. I shared that with him. He looked at me and said, man, for real. I said, if you believe and don't doubt, God will do for you. And I go back to that, those verses. I, I remember how God just showed me over and over. How he just started what I be I be, saw becoming that football player, that baseball, that student, that class president, becoming because I was trusting the word of God. Man said you couldn't get that degree, but God said, Lo and behold, it's yours. In the seventh grade, I knew I was gonna do computer science. Then have a computer. See, think about this, brother. If, just think about if I was just talking, complaining about, I don't have a computer. I don't have that. I, I can't become a computer scientist. I, complaining. How many young people? I'm complaining. I ain't got that. Well, God said, what you got? Use what you got. Young, I see a lot of young people. You're just complaining. Your mama doing the best they can. I don't want Reeboks. I want Nikes. See, I'm not going to talk about arguing because when I grew up, there was no arguing, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to say I'm arguing with my grandmother or, or, or my TT. I, I complained a little bit, but since so coming, I didn't argue now. Now, young people, be careful how you talk to the adults. The Bible says, obey your what? Your father and mother. Obey your parents. Make sure you understand that now. We said, as parents, we're not always right. Okay? But keep praying for us. Pray for one another, right? That's what the word is. I want to encourage you. That baton is the word of God. See, you just 
just pass it along and you hold each other accountable. But don't let this day pass by if you had surrendered all. Don't let this moment pass by. We said, Lord, I give you everything because with you, all things are possible. And get ready to stand. Invitation extended. Today's your day. Jesus said, come. Those who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you what? Rest. Come to Jesus. Let it go. Don't hold back. He's the truth, the lie. He's the one that loved you. He's the one that created you. His desire for you to come and say, Lord, I give you all. I give it all to you. I give it all. I give it all. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, sir. I give it all. Do you give it all? Not 95, not 98, but everything. I surrender all, all to be my blessings and your eyes. We got one more request. Those you want to grow in the word of God, let us come down, let us pray with you. You know what? You say, you know what? I, I don't understand it, but let us pray with you that God will give you what you need to grow. It's the word that brought you is word going to keep you. So maybe you need, you know, I need a, a fresh anointing, a fresh word, whatever. Let us pray with you. See, sometimes you need somebody to intercede for you. If something going on, we're here. Ready to pray with you. One more time, we're saying. Give it, give it to him. Come on. We'll pray with you. It's a great thing with the unity in the church. As we surrender all to Jesus Christ. Thank you. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have Sister Janice Powell coming down for rededication. Praise the Lord. All right. Hey. Praise the Lord. Well, we love you. We thank you. We're, we're so excited about your connection with Jesus Christ. And he, he's using her, isn't he? I see it in her grandchildren. I see it in her family. Praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. And at this time, I pause. Because she come for rededication. So they say, we got to come what? Show her that we're with her. Come on, at least one or two. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That, that's it. That you, uh, excuse me, I'll go ahead. Show love. That's what we're talking about. Father, we come right now in the precious name of Jesus. We come thanking you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for this one who has come to rededicate her services. We pray, Father, for her strength in her family, in her community, Lord, that she will show forth your love to everyone who comes in her presence. We thank you for this service today, Lord, that you have given us a new start that we may not complain, but that we may love you and that we may tell others about you. 
that we may continue this battle, Lord, because the battle we know is not ours, it's yours. And we just pray, Lord, for all that are here today that have received, and that as we receive, we go out and we spread the gospel. That's why we come, Lord. We thank you for Sister Janet's family, Lord, that she will lead her children, her grandchildren, her neighbors, Lord. Let them know that it's time. Time is winding up. Hallelujah, it's not time to play out there in the community, but it's time to come into the kingdom and do what the service of the Lord is requiring you to do. We thank and praise you for this one and for our service today and pray especially for our pastor, Lord, that you keep your arms around him as he travels. And for all those that are traveling, Lord, that you give them traveling grace. And we pray your blessing down upon this church as we come in, that we be unified that we stay together, Lord, and we love you one to another. We thank and praise you this day in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. St. Thomas. It is another great day to be thankful for all that God has done for us. Uh, we are thankful for our youth and we're thankful. Amen. Thankful that we can pass on the baton to them and we are thankful they will pass it for generations to come. Um, Hines County Baptist Association and Auxiliary presents annual anniversary celebration September 24th 3 p.m., Hines County Ministerial Alliance, 130 Champion Hill Road, Bolton, Mississippi. The theme, Envisioning the Future Exceptionally, for Reverend O.C. George Farrell is the moderator. Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, celebrating the 22nd year anniversary of Pastor Bobby and First Lady Linda Burks, on Sunday, September 17, 2023, at 2 p.m., the guest speaker is our own Reverend Darrell L. McGee, Sr. Another strong soldier has gone home. Um, there will be a celebration of life um, for Melody Hayes and a memorial service. Um, my Beyond the Wall ceremony for Sora Melody Haynes, Friday, 9-15 at 6 o'clock p.m. Living by Faith Christian Center, 3221 Main Street, Adamsville, Alabama. 35005. Um, you can send flowers to 2029 Decatur Highway, Gardensdale, Alabama, 35071. Also, the Celebration of Life for Melody will be held at Woodrow Hall, 5504 First Avenue, Birmingham, Alabama, 35212, Sunday at 9, 17, 23 at 1 o'clock p.m. Um, we have our own Sister Ranchell here who has been promoted to a principal. Congratulations, my sister. <laughs> Amen. Also, after service, the mission ministry will have a brief meeting after service. Do we have any visitors in the house? All family folks today? I pray for a blessing and miracles in your week to come. Thank you, sister. Appreciate that. All right. Anything else before we close? All right. Praise the Lord. Justin, thank you, sir. Everybody give Justin Singleton a round of applause. Great job, sir. Thank you for helping out the sermon. I need all I can help I can get. Uh, also, let's keep in mind the uh, sister Ru Ruby Kelly, the family uh, bereavement went yesterday. Keep her in your prayers. Um, let's see. Make sure you pray for the pastor. He's what time are you preaching at the time? Preaching? Okay. All right, anything else? Uh, C1. Talking about Rancho. Good to see you, one, man. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Let's stand. Get ready to close.
Will you pray with me? Oh, Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, God, for this worship experience today, God. We pray, God, you continue to bless each and everyone right now, God, as we leave this place. Continue to have all give us service, our Father, to pass the baton, the word of faith to others that they may believe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.